What's up guys, Bajiri here, so I've been having a ton of fun playing Classic so far. It has been an absolute blast. We haven't been able to go full no life grind quite just yet, so we're only level 24. But it's been super fun streaming it. Uh, definitely continuing to uh, enjoy the grind and planning to keep that rolling um, on the stream pretty much every day for a little while now. <laughs> so <laughs> looking forward to that. But one of the biggest questions we get on stream we're playing classic and live of course is uh, what add-ons are you using so this is gonna be my add-ons video gonna be breaking it down for you guys now my add-ons may change over time and all of these add-ons I don't even really have active all the time but we'll take a look at my UI uh, as I'm sort of running between quests uh, and uh, see what we're using so here we go we can also just sort of go down the line too so we'll just pop open the add-ons thing uh, first things first is Atlas Loot. That's an add-on that allows you to basically take a look at different dungeons and see what drops in different dungeons from different bosses. Now, as you'll see, there a lot of these add-ons are kind of like things that Blizzard has then gone and incorporated into the game. So it's like a dungeon journal. You know how you can look at all the loot from all the dungeons and raids? That's basically what Atlas Loot does for you for Classic. I think that's cool if I want to see, if I want to farm up certain particular items, it's nice to be able to say, okay, so that drops from this guy. That's cool. Um, I have Auctionator. Auctionator is my auction house add-on that I like to use. It just makes things a little bit more simple. You can just sort of drag items to the auction window and it'll let you know what auctions are up um, and allows you to sort of make pricing decisions and basically just makes what that whole process a little bit faster and I like that. So um, that's the add -on, same add-on that I use for like BFA. I've been using Auctionator for a little while and I still like that one. Um, Better vendor price. This is another thing. Now there's a, there's a couple different add-ons that do this. Uh, Auctionator will give you a vendor price. One of the add-ons that I'm going to talk about later, Leatrix will give you a vendor price. This is just another one that does that. So there's some redundancy in my add-ons too. I guess I should mention that. But um, when you hover over an item, it'll tell you what it vendors for. Uh, but what's cool about this one is it tells you what the whole stack of vendors for. So um, like for example, Auctionator will say vendor 13. But this one will tell you what the whole stack would vendor for, like if I don't have a full stack, right? So if I go to the core stone, I have uh, what it vendors for per item, what it vendors for uh, for my current stack, and what it vendors for for the full stack. So it'll give you all that information, whereas um, Auctionator, for example, will only tell you that it vendors for 15, because I only have three of them. And I think that Leatrix would also tell you what it would currently vendor for as well. I just like to know what the full stack vendors for. Just because I'm, I don't know, I'm a nerd. <laughs> I want to know, be like, okay, so if I get a full stack, how much is that going to be? Um, that's what that does. Uh, Bis Tracker, this is one of those things I really haven't gotten into either. Probably could actually disable that, um, but not not until I don't show you, what, not until I show you what it is, I suppose. So what that does is allows you to go to the character character sheet, uh, click this little thingy right here, and it'll tell you what uh, your um, best in slot items are, or at least what this one thinks it is, right? So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I guess you can do it by by class, by spec, by phase. Uh, so and maybe it'll change. I just have that in there because I thought that was cool. And not something I'm actively using, so I'm probably actually gonna uh, turn that off and reload UI. <laughs> just don't need it right now. Um, what else we got? We have classic aura durations, which is something I've uh, recently installed, like today before I made this video. <laughs> so the basics behind that are um, usually it doesn't. Like, uh, Classic does not show you how long your debuffs are active. But this should do that. So, get a little bit of rage, get myself a little rend on this guy, get myself a little hamstring on this guy, and then it'll actually show you how long those debuffs are up. Um, which is nice, because even Threat Plates wouldn't normally show you that. But now that Threat Plates has that information, it can do that. Which is pretty cool. I, I like, you know, like, you know, so if you know when to refresh your rend, when to refresh your hamstring, that sort of thing. So that's Classic Aura Duration. Uh, classic cast bars, I guess you also saw that on there. Um, I don't think Threat Plates does that on its own. It might. I might be just be mistaken on what it, on which one's actually showing that. Um, but you usually on Classic don't have cast bars. You'll just sort of see them casting something, and then it'll go off if you don't pummel it or whatever. 
but knowing the actual cast bar, knowing what's actually being cast, is kind of cool. So that's classic cast bar. So once again, a lot of these add-ons are just sort of putting things in the game that are now in the game. <laughs> uh, that Blizzard's like, oh yeah, I guess that's a good idea. We'll put that lid in later, but it wasn't originally in classic, so that's kind of interesting. Um, and that's this goes along with classic cast bars. Details, you guys know what details is. That's the um, that's the DPS tracker that I have in BFA. It's, you can also use it in uh, classic. So instead of doing like 13. 13k DPS, 34k DPS, you're going to see yourself doing 34 DPS. Uh, and that's <laughs> that's kind of interesting. But I have that disabled because I don't really need that when I'm out here questing and stuff. Um, Domino's, so I usually use Bartender for my bars. Uh, but Domino's is actually, uh, I didn't I didn't get Bartender to work like my first try. So I installed Domino's because that one works. And it's actually really easy to use and I like it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm using a different key binding setup than I use on BFA. So that's kind of interesting for me. To check this out also tells you latency there's 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 where i find out my latency cool um really easy to use setup bars it just takes like a second to figure it out but it really is not very difficult and i've liked it a lot so that's cool uh allows you to obviously like drag your bars around figure out where you want to put different things let you uh, rescale things and that's been uh a simple easy to use add-on and it also uh puts my cast bar on there so when you saw me skinning a mob um that's where that uh, that's where that cast bar comes from i think it, that looks nice too I'm gonna miss all my attacks because uh ran dead mine six times and the best weapon I was able to get was this thing, so <laughs> now we've got now we've got that interesting classic experience of uh being uh wielding a staff, but this is the this is the cast bar there. Everything looks pretty nice. So I've been very happy with dominoes so far. That's been working out well. Um what else we got here? We have uh, Leatrix Plus. Leatrix does a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff, but it's all really nice. So you can um go through Leatrix and you can you know, automate quests, you can immediately release yourself in PvP, you can immediately accept uh, reses, you can repair automatically. I have it set to sell junk automatically, which is really nice. Every time you go to a vendor, it'll automatically sell the grays in your inventory. You just gotta make sure that you're not, like, if you want to, you gotta make sure you're not, like, accidentally selling those nice little, like, gray shoulders that you found that you wanna give to your friend. You don't wanna do that. You can automatically block duels, friend requests. Um, you can, I guess, you can only accept uh, whispers from like your friends or whatever else. Uh, you can only in invite people who have you whispered, I guess. Th these are things that I don't have checked. I could be even wrong about what they do, but obviously you can go through. I encourage you to go through and look at all these add-ons and set it up the way that you want it to be. Um, but it's pretty cool. There's little things like using class colors in chat. I like that. Uh, that's nice. Uh, I haven't really done any of these things. Um, I haven't really done any of these things. Because I think that some of these cooldowns like, are already there unless five cooldown icons above the target frame Ooh, interesting uh so i wonder if you can track your opponent's cooldowns is that what that's saying so once again i need to look at some of these and figure out what we want to do but a lot of these things are just kind of like um options that you'll have like class colored frames so that's what uh is doing this right here for my bar it's gonna you know it's brown for warrior and it would be like blue for mage and things like that so that's all an option and, and once again i could go through and Mess all these, you can hide your stance bar, which is, which is interesting. I don't really want to do that, but... And then you have all this stuff, too. So there's a lot of different things that it does for you. Um, like, you know, you can, like, automatically dismount. It's like you're on a mount and you want to charge. I think that's what this does. It's just, you, know, you press charge, you just charge instead of having to do slash dismount in all of your macros. Uh, faster all loot, which is really nice. You loot pretty quick, which I feel like... I was like, man, you loot kind of slow in Classic. And this just happens to do that for you. So there's a lot of different things that you could probably get specific add-ons for that Leatrix just does for you, which is nice. I like that. So it's a cool, that's a really cool all-in-one add-on that does a lot of neat things uh, that I've been enjoying. A real mob health. So as you'll notice, like in Classic, if you click on a mob, it doesn't really show you their health by default. Uh, this one does. But I think it, it does like a... You, you have to like kill it or engage it in combat before you can actually see how much health it has. So it, as long as you don't mind that, I mean, at, at least you know how much health somebody has. So... In PvP, like you have to might have to pick a fight with somebody before you see how much health they have, but then you actually do get to see how much health they have eventually. So that's kind of cool. Of course, my inventory is always full, dude, always full. But I want this skin. Give me this. Um. Anyway, I'll also probably make a video going over like my character progression once I hit like level thirty with my professions and stuff. But if you guys watch the stream, we can always talk about that anyway. This is just for the videos. Let you guys know what's up. Uh, threat plates. Threat plates is what I use in BFA. It's what makes that nice little uh, frame above their head, which tracks your uh, your debuffs on them and 
Um, I bet it can track their health now with real mob health too. Um, but it has the hamstring above them. It has their their name text right there, the level text right there, tracking their uh, the percentage of their health. But the main thing is just I just like the way it looks and it tracks the debuffs above, so that's pretty cool. Um, all good stuff there, just the basics. Just basic plates that I like to use. Uh, weak aura. I have weak auras installed. I haven't set up any weak auras yet, but it gives me the opportunity to do so. Uh, weapon swing timer is this thing right here, where it says main hand in blue, which is my weapon swing, and it has main hand in red, which is the enemy's weapon swing. That allows you to more effectively do the hamstring method, which is when you put a hamstring on somebody, and you're gonna just peek back in melee range when your when your melee attack is up, and you're gonna avoid a combat. You're gonna avoid letting them hit you uh, when your weapon swing is not up. So peek out. I mean, it's a caster, so he's not going to chase me anyway, but the idea is if this guy was melee, you just kind of cut him with hamstring, peek in, wait till my weapon swing is back up, peek in for a hit, that kind of thing. It's probably, it's probably more effective to show that on a mob that um, relies on melee more than cast timer, but then this also does show you the cast timer. So I could probably actually turn off, uh, I wonder if I could turn off uh, classic cast bars and have it still show their cast bar with just threat plates. Let me see. Uh, I killed him, but doing a, doing an experiment for you guys live. Let me see if I can get a cast bar on this guy without classic cast bars. But if, if it does, then it just is like whatever your preference is. Let me see if this guy casts on me and it shows it. Yeah, okay, so threat plates sh shows casts on its own. But anyway, that, that was the main thing with, behind weapon swing timer. Is you're going to need to do this later on when mobs are actually kicking your butt. Kind of peek in and out of uh, combat or uh, out of uh, melee range. Thanks for the heal or the, the buff there, dude. And um, we have dominoes, which is what I mentioned before. Let's see what else do we have. Dominoes, threat plates, weak auras, weapon swing timer. Trade skill manager is one of those things that uh, really overwhelmed the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, if you wanted to like have like a super auction, super like trade skill macro, not macro, add-on that just allows you to track a billion different things, but it really changes like the UI of like your stuff. And that kind of threw me off a little bit. Didn't, I was like, "Oh, I don't like this." Um, then you could try that out, but it, w it wasn't it wasn't something that I really liked. So I have it, I have it on my you know available things still, but I'm not using it quite just yet because, like I said, it's kind of intense. Um, but that's kind of another one to use. I just I thought Auctionator was what I was looking for, but before I found Auctionator for Classic, I used this for a second. I was like, "Oh, that's too much." Uh, but then Questy, that's a big one. So Questy, when you open up your map. We'll show you quests that are available, quests that you can turn in, and where to find uh, items that you need to pick up, where you find things that you need to fight. Um, just puts a bunch of little icons on your map so you can see uh, where you're supposed to go because part of the classic experience for some people is being lost and trying to figure out where the heck to go. For me, I like to have some direction to my questing and that makes things a little bit more comfortable for me playing classic and, and I'm enjoying that. So still, everything still takes forever. <laughs> you still have to walk everywhere. <laughs> Everything's still slower, but it's at least me knowing where I'm supposed to go uh, helps me have a little bit more fun uh, with my questing experience, which is cool. Uh, but that pretty much is the rundown of all of my add-ons for right now. Um, the basic things that you can see in combat, just once again, the threat plates are above their head. Uh, dominoes is what I'm using to uh, bind my keys. Leatrix is what makes these things have uh, different sort of class-colored nameplates um, on my unit frames. Up and swing timer is what you see here. And then everything else is just some sort of uh, add-ons for particular things that you need. But... These are the ones that, that you're going to use. Just Like I said, Atlas Loot tracks your stuff. Better Vendor Price is something that you can use to track Vendor Price and Stacks, but Leatrix and Auctionator will also give you certain options like that. Classic Aura Durations is what shows the Aura Durations. Domino's is what I'm using to bind stuff with. Um, Leatrix is what does a whole bunch of different stuff, including make my frames look like this. Real Mob Health is what shows the Mob Health. Threat Plates, once again, is what's above their heads. Weapon Swing Timer shows the Weapon Swing Timer. And Questy it shows you all them lovely, lovely quests and where to go and uh, where to pick up stuff. And that's the basics right now. Uh, another video I like to make for you guys is a character update, but just to keep, just to keep things sort of uh, all in one for now, we'll sort of just let the add-ons be the add-ons video and uh, make sure you guys are tuning into the stream. Make sure you guys are staying subscribed to the YouTube channel, checking out those videos, giving them a big thumbs up, leaving comments so that they show up in your feed. Oh, you can also enable notifications, of course. Uh, and keep an eye out for plenty more classic content coming at you. Having a lot of fun so far. We're gonna excited to keep it rolling. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the love. Show the video a big thumbs up. Comment. 
Stay subscribed, enable notifications to keep the content rolling for you. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.